The focus of this lesson is de on determining algebraically whether a graph has symmetry across the x-axis, y-axis, or origin. So we're going to start off with the y-axis symmetry test, but before we do that, I just want to go ahead and go over what it means to be symmetric about an axis or the origin. And what that means is that basically the graph has a mirror image across that axis. So if you were to fold the graph across that axis, the graph would fall on top of itself. It would be a perfect reflection across that axis or origin in, in that case. So we're going to go ahead and do the test to see if this graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. So we're testing y-axis symmetry. So to do that, what you would do is wherever there is an x, so basically the opposite letter, you're going to let x be negative x. And the re reason being is if x, y is a coordinate of an, on your graph, if you have y-axis symmetry, then also negative x comma y would be on your graph. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a x with negative x, and we're going to see if we get the same resulting equation back. If we do, then we have y symmetry. If we don't, then we do not have y symmetry. So where there's an x, replace it with negative x. So my equation becomes negative x equals y squared plus 8. In order for the equation to be the same, both the right-hand side and the left-hand side would have to be identical. Notice that the right-hand side is identical, but the left-hand side is not. So therefore, in that case, you're not y-symmetric. So moving on, we would have to test the next type of symmetry. The next type of symmetry that we're testing is x-axis symmetry. So if x, y is a point on the graph, then so would x, comma, negative y. So let's go ahead and work through the process for x-symmetry. So what you would do is you would replace the opposite letter of the type of symmetry that you're trying to test, and you'd replace it with a negative version of that letter. So instead of having a y, we're going to replace it with negative y. And again, what should result is we are left with an equation that's identical to the one we started with if, in fact, we have x-axis symmetry. So where there's a y, replace it with negative y. And so if we do that, we get x equals negative y squared plus 8 but a negative y times itself, which is squaring, would be a positive y squared. Now notice, if you compare this equation to the original, both the left-hand side and the right-hand side are identical. They are the same. So if you replaced y with negative y, you got the same equation back. So that means that for every point x comma y, x comma negative y is also on the graph. So this is in fact x symmetric. That's the conclusion that you could draw. Now just for the sake of going through the process, we're going to also test origin symmetry. For origin symmetry, if you're talking on a point-by-point -point basis, if x, y is a point on the graph, then so is negative x comma negative y. So instead of having x, you're going to let x be negative x. And instead of having y, you're going to let y be negative y. You're going to let both happen. And in that, again, you're looking for after you do this replacement, do you get the original x equals y squared plus 8 back? So let's go ahead and rewrite. Um, instead of writing the x, let's put in the negative x. Instead of writing y squared, let's put in the negative y for the y. So it becomes negative y squared plus 8. And then we want to simplify, so we get negative x equals a negative y squared would become a positive y squared, because a negative times a negative is positive. And then notice that the right-hand side of the equation is identical, 
but the left hand side is not. So what this means is those equations aren't identical because both sides would have to be identical. So you're not origin symmetric. So it turns out that this particular equation is symmetric with respect to the x-axis, not the origin and not the y-axis. So what that means from a graphical perspective, if this is half of the graph and you have x-symmetry, the other half of this graph reflects across the x-axis. Well, this is the x-axis, so a reflection across that would be would be this image. And so the full graph of x equals y squared plus 8 is this entire image. So that's what happens graphically if you are x-symmetric.